By now, you've already seen, most likely, the cell phone video of what took place here at 4th and McClure in Marion. But what we don't see is what police say happened before we got to this point. This is the video a bystander took Monday. Police officers trying to subdue 29-year-old Arrington Barber, a paranoid schizophrenic who was fleeing police after he was reported to be walking around naked underneath a blanket. You see that house? Yes, sir. The White House on the right? You, you the see that? One. Yes. You see that blue sign yes, right sir, there? Yes, I do. His head was laid on the ground right there where that blue right sign there. is at. Uh, right there. Richard Thompson is a local social media newsman in Marion. He's also Barber's cousin. And we got this video plain as day. One officer walks right up. Wasn't even in the mix. Walked right up, put his hand behind his back, looked around, and just started wailing on him. It's right there. James Barber stopped at the county jail to try to see his son to, according to Tyson, try to drop off some medicine for him. We don't really have a problem. We know where unarmed black men are getting killed and, and, and left in the street over a traffic stop. I said, we don't have that problem here. And then... This happens. A press release from the Marion Police Department says Barber refused to put his arms behind his back. After stunning him did not work, officers subdued Barber in accordance with department oh policy and Indiana law enforcement training. If we stand for this, if this community stands for this and we don't stand up and do nothing about what just happened Monday, the next time it will be somebody's dead shot in the middle of the street. Right now they're more concerned about just getting him his medication. In Marion, Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.